Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'll show you how to do multi-track stabilization in After Effects using the camera tracker. Let's begin. I have my clip ready, and the first thing I'll do is split the video right at the moment when the camera starts to switch from the car to the forklift. Now let's scroll forward to the point where the camera is fully focused on the forklift, and split the clip one more time. So this middle layer is the switch point. We can leave it as it is and not stabilize it, but I'll animate it later to make the camera switch look smoother. First we'll stabilize the first and last layers. To stay organized, I'll rename the layers, the middle one will be switch, and the other two will be first clip and second clip. Let's begin with the first clip, I'll pre-compose it. Make sure move all attributes into the new composition and adjust composition duration to the time span of the selected layers are both selected, then hit OK. Now double click the pre-composed layer to open it. Then in the tracker panel, click track camera and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, I'll create a new solid and a camera right on the wheel, since I'm stabilizing and locking onto the wheel. I'll quickly adjust the solid by rotating it, then scale it down until it's tiny, then I will make sure that the solid is perfectly centered on the wheel. Now we can toggle off the clip so only the solid is visible on the screen, then go back to our main composition. Let's click Stabilize Motion now. I'll make the track point larger and then drag it onto the solid. For smoother analysis, click Options, select RGB, check Adapt feature on every frame and hit OK. Now click the Analyze Forward button and wait until it's done. Once it's finished, click Apply and hit OK, then close the tracking window and go back to the pre-composed composition. Toggle on the clip and toggle off the track solid, then close this composition and go back to the main comp. The first clip is stabilized. Now all we have to do is fix the black edges by scaling the video, then enable the proportional grid and center the wheel. The first clip is ready, and next we'll stabilize the second clip the same way we did with the first. I won't speed up the video so you can follow my steps. If you click stabilize motion and don't see the track point, don't worry, just go to the current track setting and change it from none to tracker 1 and the track point will appear. Once the stabilization is finished, go ahead and adjust the clip by scaling and positioning it carefully until everything looks just right. So we finished stabilizing the clip and adjusting the position, but if you play the video, you'll see that something is off and the switching part looks weird. But the fix is actually simple. All we need to do is animate the position, anchor point, and scale of the clip. Let's select the first layer and press A on the keyboard, then hold shift and press P. This will open both the anchor point and position properties for us. Now select the switch layer and do the same, but make sure to open the scale property as well. Then repeat the same steps for the last layer. Let's select the switch layer and scroll to the beginning of it. Just press I on your keyboard and After Effects will jump to that point. Now click the stopwatch icons next to anchor point and position to create new keyframes. All we have to do now is copy the anchor point and position values from the first clip and paste them onto the switch layer, just like this. Also don't forget to set the scale of the switch layer to match the same value as the first clip. This will keep everything consistent during the transition. Let me show you what it looks like now. As you can see we have fixed the first part and it looks really smooth. Now let's focus on the second part of the transition. We will scroll to the end of the switch layer, just press O on your keyboard to jump there. Then we'll copy the anchor point, position, and scale values from the second clip and paste them onto the switch layer at that point. and we're done. The switching part is smooth, the stabilization is complete, and now the only thing left is to speed ramp the video, then it's fully ready. Pre-compose all the layers. Make sure move all attributes into the new composition and adjust composition duration to the time span of the selected layers are both selected, then hit OK. Now right-click on the layer, 
Go to Time, and select Enable Time Remapping. Then scroll forward or to the beat drop of the song, let's pretend it's right here, and drag the second time remap keyframe to that spot. Select both keyframes now and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to the Graph Editor, right click, select Edit Value Graph, and create a smooth curve. Let's check the final result. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.